Hey everyone, welcome back to Podbricks, where I have been reviewing all of the Lego sets that I have in my personal collection. Today I wanted to actually review the Lego Book of Monsters. It is part of the Harry Potter theme and it is set 30628. It is rated 10 plus on age and there's 320 pieces. It also does come with a little Draco minifig. I actually got this set as part of the promotional item. I got it as a promotional item when I was shopping on lego.com as I always am apparently. Um, in fact I was shopping so much that I actually ended up making two orders. This is my unbuilt set. I have the box for my set because I made two orders uh, because I wanted to get another set and then I figured why not it comes with a promotional item so I was very surprised that this popped up as a promotional item because a while back I had saw I had seen this at uh, Barnes and Noble and they were having a sale and I want to say it's probably around like Christmas time frame, holiday season, and it was on a first come first serve basis. My store sold out. Not surprised at all. They sold out pretty fast or online sold out pretty fast. Can't remember the full details, but I had seen it and then I thought it was really cool and then it wasn't available. Then it popped up on lego.com as a promotional item, not even as just a regular standard build. And this is a pretty solid, like, this is an actual box box. It's not, it's not as small as like the year of the ox and it's not a poly bag. Usually we get a lot of like poly bags for free or some of the Ninjago things, pods for free. But this is an actual box set. Very surprised. Um, pleasantly surprised. It did also, he was sitting down, did also come with a little Draco. Let me see if I can, there he is. Did come with a little Draco. He does come with a wand. I just didn't punch out the wand because I have a ton of them because I have a lot of Harry Potter sets. Uh, and he is the student version, so he has the little kind of kid-sized legs. They're kind of stumpy on there. So there's Draco. I always put them on the mad face, especially for Draco. There he is. I always put him on the more angrier face because I feel like that's more appropriate. And here is the booklet. It's a pretty, pretty decent booklet. It's not necessarily anything special. Let's see how many pages. 82. 82 pages. Um, yeah, and here it is. There's the, the top, the mouth side. Here's the spine. And then the bottom. I do actually like that they had foresight into putting the plates um, so it doesn't get completely scratched up on the bottom and it kind of doesn't topple over because if you notice it does have wheels it is not motorized, but it does have some sort of movement on the mouth. It does try to go nom nom nom. Um, and it is, let's see if I can actually show it on the bottom. Essentially it has these pieces here that hit it and bump it that make the top piece go up and down. Here is the top where it actually has, oh, hold on, I upside down, yeah, um, the Monster Book of 
monsters and its eyes here. Obviously the mouth and fangs and these pieces on the side are the hair pieces and they do move. Ooh, man. They move but they're a little, the corners are a little bit restricted because of the placement on them. If you notice, there we go. It's just the placement, it's not a big deal. And other ones do go down all the way. I'm gonna actually try and see if I can pan you guys down because I will say there is a few things that I don't necessarily like, but I mean, it's one of those things. Um, personally, I did think that the stickers, I am not a fan of stickers on Lego pieces because I always put them crooked or sometimes I'll, I'm the person that puts them on the wrong brick because I usually just get too excited and then I put them down anyways and then realize I did the wrong thing. So they are stickers, they are not printed bricks. That's in my opinion, you know, a little bit of a difference. So the lips, in my opinion, are a little red. Kinda looks like it's wearing lipstick. And I think it's very odd because considering that the book itself is pretty dark, there's a lot of brown pieces, there, the pages seem to be a little bit more yellow, kind of looks like it might be an older book, but then the lips are very bright red. You know, no judgment. Tongue also pretty red, teeth are pretty white, but hey, you can see where the mouth is. That's actually probably not a benefit for the book that's trying to eat. Definitely think that I would want to kind of blend its mouth in so it doesn't see it or it's a little, you know, unassuming with people. I'm going to try and pan. Let's see if I can get you guys down a little bit more. There we go. So the other thing that I was hinting at before is the movement. Those little nom nom noms. It just, like you do actually have to kind of press down, otherwise it kind of doesn't always do it. I don't know why, but like the tongue kind of flicks when it does it, kind of like flicks in, like eh, eh, eh. Um, see, it kind of flicks in a little bit and I just noticed that, so. Okay, there you go. But when I have it here, the only thing that I can really think of is like the mouth is just so red. I, but again, not a deterrent. I still think it's such a cool piece. Very excited. So excited that I now have two. And we will see what happens with the second one. The other thing that I also will say, we'll pan, yeah. Uh, the other thing that I will say is that I actually just looked this set, this set up on a brick set and rebrickable just to kind of see where the set was valued. Considering this set came out originally, it debuted in 2020, and I believe. The first time that I had saw it was as a promotional set for Barnes and Noble um, and as a promotional set that came with the purchase of other items and I think you had to spend like a hundred dollars or more if that tells you how much I've spent during that time frame. Um, but it's now valued roughly at about $50, $53 on brick set and rebrickable. So I would definitely give that value for money top notch five five out of five because considering that I got it for free and it is now worth 
approximately $53. Um, this I think is one of those sets that is going to just appreciate in value as the years go through. A lot of the Harry Potter sets do. I'm a huge fan of the Harry Potter sets so I'm very excited about that personally. Uh, playability, I did give it a 3 and I think it's mainly because of the lips and the bumper because the mouth could go wider but it's like these little tiny little num num nums. So that's a 3. Parts wise, I also gave it a 3. It's the lips for me. The lips are just throwing me off so much with it. Um, and obviously with the printed, or the sticker bricks versus the printed bricks, not a deterrent. I still think it's a really solid set. And when I was building it with the whole mechanism underneath, I felt like it was a very cool concept considering that it does actually have that movement. So I did give the building experience a four. Um, and I believe that puts us at an average of 3.75. So I'll round that up to a four. Yeah. Uh, 30628 is the set. I appreciate you guys coming around looking at the set. I'm just really excited about him. I think he's awesome. Uh, yeah, so feel free to comment. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if I'm being too dramatic with the lips and the tongue. You, you are more than welcome to tell me that it is not that noticeable or if I'm just making it more no noticeable because I keep talking about it. Let me know. Either way. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye, everyone.